what's up people it's your boy Robbie Bright Jones from RBJ Creative Studio so it's been a while since I uploaded a video because um, I took a break I was creating this kind of setup for you guys so I can bring you more videos and more content so just anticipate I'm 50% done but then yeah just watch out for me watch out for me I will bring you a whole lot so today we're going to do a tutorial on how to enhance images make sure the image is looking okay and stuff so first of all let's get an image there's this image here of a lady so you drag it into photoshop and instead of leaving it on the document or the, um, the workspace you have to drag it to the top here and you just leave it there so this is this is the um the edited image the already edited image so what i'm going to do is i'll make sure i set it to camera on defaults so it goes back to what it was so first of all what you have to do is you need to take care of the shadows so as as you can see here there's a little bit of like shadows on the face and it's kind of covering the, the the left side of her face so what you have to do is first of all move to exposure bring up the exposure a little bit not that much your contrast to a little bit and one thing whenever you want to do, use the contrast is um you use the contrast when there is this kind of um foggy kind of look in your images so you bring your highlights way back same as um, your whites too so wherever you bring your highlights you have to do the same to the whites make sure your shadow goes forward because the shadow is that spot that's going to do all the work like mostly all the work so you take your shadows forward not that much else your picture is going to look more pale then you take your contrast forward and then you come to your blacks the blacks control the blacks control come on the blacks control how deep the blacks in the images are going to look so just a little bit we're going to go texture also takes care of how the how um the image is going to feel like clarity to the same but sometimes the clarity makes it looks very well, so you have to give it just a little bit as you can see right now it looks like we have like an too much of orange kind of look in her picture so what we're going to do is um, take the exposure up a little bit then we'll move on to the HSL adjustments um, I've already thought um, I've done a video on how to use the camera roll for a whole lot of stuff so I don't have to cover all those things again so you bring back the oranges and as you can see it looks normal now so this is how the image is going to look if you want to add more you can add more but then just make sure your exposure your contrast your highlights shadows whites blacks texture clarity are all moving and you're good to go so um let me try bringing another picture and do the same to the picture so um um who 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 who, who am i bring? okay let me bring this guy here so we have um an image of a guy in a white coat as you can see i've already edited this so let me just go back to the defaults and this this is how the image was look was looking like i mean it looked very too dark and stuff so first of all take the exposure a little bit forward contrast a little bit forward highlights back whites back shadows up a bit as you can see is the shadows that does everything blacks backwards texture clarity and you're good to go okay so let me bring in an image with um with a high kind of highlights thing i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say yep so this image has a kind of too much highlight in it so first of all you leave the exposure because we are trying to bring down the highlights in the picture so contrast goes a little bit forward then highlights come way back same as the whites too so as you can see it looks kind of good a little bit mm, yeah so you take the shadows forward the blacks backwards contrast a little bit more forward and let's toggle the before and after and see so as you can see this one looks more whitish but this one looks moderate yeah 
then remove your texture your clarity too and um yeah i think so just play around yeah try to play around it because right now what i'm doing right now is uh, like a personal preference something that i think is going to help my images that's what i'll do so yeah this is how you you enhance images in like few minutes i mean make sure you have um the camera roll i'll make sure this is not going to be promised but i'll try to leave a link under the script the description so you can get the camera raw plugin and um yeah but i'm not promising you that i'm going to leave it there but then i'll try my best to leave it there so kindly like the video subscribe to the channel comment if you don't understand anything comment to if you want me to um do a tutorial on anything cinema 4d um, photoshop just make sure to comment it and i'll see you in the next video so peace out guys